got the new governor gear in. Back on the quest to make this 445 run amazing. Trying fuel regulator now. My dad did the work on this, so I don't really know what I'm getting into right now, but from the looks of it, it goes there. Oops. And then we're gonna do a water pump and I think a thermostat too. Done, I know I've done a water pump, thermostat's easy. But water pump sucks because you gotta take like whole front end of the tractor off because the muffler's in the way. You gotta take this whole thing off to get to the muffler, so that's always really fun and it takes forever. And then you gotta, you know, readjust all that down there so your hood's right. But anyway, so looks like he had the injector unplugged and that thing. So I'm going to get this bolted down. And then it looks like this tube goes into here. And then there's three fuel line. This goes up on the bottom of the air box. This plugs into the injector there. This has a, a sensor, I believe, on the bottom of the air box this goes into. So, three bolts in the air box goes back on. So I'll get that all back on and uh, come back to it. So I got this all figured out now. I plugged the fuel back in. So this bolt's on here. This little tube comes up there. So the return fuel line comes there to the bottom of the regulator, this fuel line return goes down to the bottom of the throttle body and this goes into there I think that I thought that was like oh that one might be the uh, I think that's a in air pressure sensor something like that um, so this just slides up through that hole so I'll get this back on. I'm gonna take that bolt and that bolt back off to get it on, but other than that, it's pretty simple from there. Get that on, put that on. There's four bolts, one, two, three, four. Screw into there, and the three there. And then it's just, top goes back on and everything. And then I'll get to the thermostat and the water pump. And you got the top end put back together, so now, get this off so all you're gonna want to do is I'm trying to think yeah I'm pretty sure you have to unplug the lights if I remember and push that pin out I thought there was one more and then you gotta sneak them out so that they're not in here so you can take this off so you take these off on each side there's two on each side I believe they're either an 18 or 19 millimeter you got two of these on each side I think those look like a eight millimeter And then, yeah, just be careful with your hood. Pop the grill off so you can get to everything. I've done it before with the leaving the battery in. And then exhaust, two bolts on each side. I'm pretty sure those were 10 mil. So I'm gonna get to that and uh, be back. So this is what it's gonna look like once you have the hood and the muffler off. And I put that muffler shroud, I put it over there. That can be a pain. So for the muffler, there's these two on each side. And then there's two on the bottom there. So once you get to the water pump, it's gonna look like here. So you're gonna wanna drain your fluid. I haven't yet. There's a drain. Uh -huh. There's supposed to be one. Why am I not seeing it? There's supposed to be a drain on the bottom of the radiator. Oh, there, there it is, right here. 
So you open that up. There's a tube that just kind of goes down. Um, here. I've got it right there. So I'll just put a bucket under there and I'll probably just drain it that way. It is quicker though. Just to pop this holes off right here. And that might be what, I, what I'll do. So if you grab a big bucket, catch it all. But I'll figure that out and then take your water pump off. So there's three parts to it. So you got a cover here. The, I guess you got the housing, sure. And then the back where the actual, uh, whatever you want to call it, spinny thing is. The actual pump itself, sure. So, that was kind of interesting. I don't know if that's oil or if that's from that leaking. I don't know, kind of smells like coolant. So, double my back, but. So I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with that. And then I might show you. So you wanna clean off all your surfaces and stuff like that. Put your new gaskets on, put them all back together like the, like you took it off. So, here's our water pump. It's kinda milky. You have to get another gasket, but here's the uh, oil. But you kind of decided that I think once we're in, now we're in here, we're just gonna do head gaskets since that won't be that hard. And then maybe this front gasket there, which will be a little less fun, but yeah. So they got the heads off and it kind of looked like this uh, intake gasket might have been leaking, letting water in the cylinder or pressure from the cylinder into there. So we're just going to pull the motor out so it'll be easier. So I get 15 millimeter four bolts all around and plug everything in your hoses. And your drive shaft is three 13 millimeters. It'll come right out. So we've got the engine out, it's pretty straightforward. So unhook your battery cables, they'll come with the engine, unplug everything. Um, pull the belt off to get a new one because it's kind of rough. Look at that, you just pull these three bolts off and this piece comes off. So we're gonna do head gaskets, obviously intake gaskets. And then we're gonna do this front plate water pump, new water pump, uh, change the oil because they drained it. Um, so I'm going to pull, so I can get the front cover off, I'm going to pull all these bolts out under here. There's four on each side, they're 13 millimeter looks like. Um, I just coated the cylinder walls with WD-40 just to keep them moved up for now. Other than that, I'm just kind of get to it. So I pull the thermostat cover off to get the thermostat out, and there isn't one in there. Somebody's had this off like silicone or something. And there's no thermostat, so that explains why it doesn't warm up. That's probably why it runs like garbage. Who knows? That could be a reason why this thing was running rich like garbage, because it... Because the cylinders were, huh, I don't know. It was running cool, but obviously too cool. It couldn't heat up. That is bizarre. And I pulled this front cover off, cleaned it out. Nothing too bad, just 
checked everything out. I got all the guest surfaces clean. Just putting the new one on. That's what it looks like in there. All looks good. I think I showed, I got the heads back on, torqued. Valves lashed, uh, valve covers on. So I'm doing a little change, we'll get that done. And then my dad's working on transaxle right now. So eventually we'll get this back in the tractor. Uh, waiting for one more intake gasket to come in at our local dealer, John Deere dealer. Uh, so hopefully this thing is uh, gonna run for a while after this. So it's pretty much, yeah, it's ready to set back in the tractor now. Uh, I got the engine mounts back on it. I got, I put a new seal in it. We did a rear main in the spring. So you can see I pushed it a little bit farther so that it won't uh, run in the same groove and leaks, but I don't think it's in too far. Uh, new water pump, new gasket for the front case, new water pump gaskets. Uh, new head gaskets, obviously, new valve cover gaskets, new intake gaskets are going on. Um, new fan belt. I'm trying what else? I think that's it in the engine. Put a new oil filter on it. About to fill it up with oil before we forget, because that would be a bad day. Um, yeah, other than that, you know, it's just we're gonna get the transacts back together. So, I guess I'll, uh, uh, this will probably end up being two or three part series, so I'm guessing this will be part two or three at this point. So, uh, see you in a bit. Only the best. We usually use John Deere oils. Oh dear, that was close. So, John Deere uh, turf car, I think it's the 1030. Yep. And then, always use the low, vis low viscosity high guard in the transaxles. Those can be really picky. It's made to run on that stuff. So I would only ever run the low viscosity high guard models. Not ATF, like older ones. So they used to take about two quarts, I believe. If I remember you right. Hoping to get better uh, footage probably after Christmas break. I'll get stuff set up with the uh, GoPro. I have a cheap Chinese camera, so I'll probably use my dad's GoPro. Because the audio on mine is absolute garbage. And you guys would not be happy. It's great for things where audio doesn't really matter and you don't really care if the camera might get destroyed. Set these somewhere. Don't run away from me. These caps are a pain to get off.
That's weird. Looks a little high, but it is not in the oil filter or anything right now. So it's probably about perfect. Okie dokie. So we'll clean up the gasket surfaces on the uh, intake here. So I was wrong earlier. Quart and a half of oil, not two quarts. Yeah. Like oh, man, it's kind of high. Look at uh, look it up. Oh, For some reason my dad and I thought it took two quarts, but it doesn't. So I just drained some out of it, put it back in the container for later since it was clean, brand new. And this engine is clean inside now. So yeah, just waiting for uh, intake gasket to come in uh, Monday. Pick up at the dealer. And then finish, get that finished up. Probably put that in, get the engine in, and hopefully uh, we'll have a runner.